less depreciated exchange rate have been key drivers of this improved outlook. Domestic petrol prices decreased by a cumulative three rand seven cents per liter in December and January. Lower food price inflation also contributed to lower consumer price inflation. The economy's recovery from the technical recession in the first half of 2018 is welcomed, but it remains modest, with growth constrained by sustained demand as a result of weaker levels of consumer and business confidence. The year-on-year -year inflation rate, as measured by the Consumer Price Index, for all urban areas was 5.2% in November. Good price inflation was 5.3%, while services price inflation was unchanged at 5.1%. The bank's measure of core inflation, which excludes food, fuel, and electricity, was 4.4% in November compared to 4.2% in October. Producer price inflation for final manufactured goods slowed marginally to 6.8% in November from 6.9% in October. The near-term inflation forecast generated by the SAP's quarterly projection model, the QPM, has improved significantly since the previous MPC. Headline inflation is now expected to average 4.6% in 2018 and 4.8% in 2019, before increasing to 5.3% in 2020 and moderating to 4.8% in 2021. Headline price inflation is now expected to peak at around 5.6% in the first quarter of 2020. Core inflation is expected to remain unchanged at 4.3% in 2018 and forecast to remain 5.0% in 2019, 5.1% in 2020, and 4.8% in 2021. These inflation projections are based on an interest rate path generated by the QPM. Following a significant decline in oil prices since November, the assumptions for Brent crude oil in the QPM were revised down by around $10 per barrel from $73 to $62 for 2019 and $65 for 2020 and 2021. Food price inflation is expected to have bottomed out in the fourth quarter of 2018 and to rise to 4.6% in 2021. Average inflation expectations for both 2019 and 2020, as reflected in the survey conducted by the Bureau for Economic Research in the fourth quarter of 2018, declined from 5.6% to 5.4%. Average five-year expectations also came down from 5.5% in the previous survey to 5.3%. The inflation expectations of market analysts in the January 2019 Reuters Econometer survey are also lower at 5.2% in 2019 and remained unchanged at 5.3% for 2020. Expectations implicit in the break-even inflation rates remain sensitive to exchange rate movements. While five-year break-even rates remain within the inflation target range, the longer-term break-even rates remain above 6%. Global growth is expected to remain broadly favorable over the near term, but to moderate over the medium term while risks are tilted to the downside. The negative effects of tariff increases are becoming more visible in economic data and uncertainty arising from trade tensions 
remains. Other risks include geopolitical developments and excessive financial market volatility. Recent communication from major central banks suggests a slower pace of monetary policy normalization in advanced economies. In December, the U.S. Fed signaled a more gradual pace of rate hikes. Although the European Central Bank ended its asset purchase program in December, it has indicated that monetary policy would remain largely accommodative. Since the November MPC, the rent has appreciated by 1.4% against the U.S. dollar, by 1.5% against the euro, and by 0.5% on a trade-weighted basis. The implied starting point for the rent is 14 rents 30 against the US dollar compared with 14 rents 50 at the time of the previous meeting. At these levels, the QPM assesses the rent to be less undervalued. Emerging market currencies, including the rent, have recently benefited from a weaker US dollar and indications of continued accommodative monetary policy in advanced economies. But they remain vulnerable to changes in investor sentiment. The rent also remains sensitive to domestic growth prospects, political developments, and policy settings. The domestic growth outlook remains sluggish. Although GDP increased by 2.2% in the third quarter of 2018, private sector fixed investments remains weak and production in key sectors is volatile. The SAP now expects growth in 2018 to have averaged 0.7%. The growth forecast for 2019 is 1.7%. It's unchanged at 2% for 2020 and increases to 2.2% in 2021. At this growth rate, the negative output gap is expected to close in the first quarter of 2021. The APSA Purchasing Managers Index reached 50.7 index points in December, driven by improved expectations about new sales orders and business activity. However, the Employment Sub-Index receded to its lowest levels since 2014. Although the Sub's composite leading business cycle indicator increased somewhat in October, it has been trending lower since early 2018. The RMB-BER Business Confidence Index also remains significantly below the neutral level of 50 index points broadly aligned with weakness in gross fixed capital formation. Sustained growth in fixed capital formation is needed to raise potential growth and to make inroads into unemployment. Household consumption expenditure remains constrained by weak employment growth. Over the forecast period, consumption expenditure growth is expected to remain around 2% on the back of moderate increases in real wages and household disposable income. The MPC assesses the risks to the growth forecast to be on the downside. Weak business and consumer confidence continue to weigh on fixed capital formation. This could be exacerbated by the possibility of protracted electricity supply constraints. Prudent macroeconomic policies are essential to ensuring that growth is sustainable and the economy is more resilient to shocks. Furthermore, the committee remains of the view that current challenges facing the economy are primarily structural in nature. The implementation of credible structural policy initiatives that make a marked impact on potential output and employment and lower the cost structure of the economy should be prioritized. The MPC has taken note of the improved inflation outlook, especially in the near term. Over the forecast period, 
Inflation is expected to remain within the inflation target range, averaging 5.3% in 2020 and 4.8% in 2021. The overall risks to the inflation outlook are assessed to be moderately on the upside. The risks include administered prices such as electricity and water tariffs, rising domestic food prices in the outer years, changing investor sentiment towards emerging markets, moderation in global growth, and volatile international oil prices. Against this backdrop, the MPC unanimously decided to keep the repurchase rate unchanged at 6.75%. The committee continues to assess the stance of monetary policy to be broadly accommodative. Monetary policy actions will continue to focus on anchoring expectations closer to the midpoint of the inflation target in the interest of balanced and sustainable growth. The approach of the MPC is to look through the first round effects and focus on the possible second round effects of supply side shocks. As previously indicated, any future adjustments will be data dependent. The implied path of policy rates generated by the quarterly projection model is for one hike of 25 basis points reaching 7.0% by the end of 2021. The forecasted endogenous interest rate path is built into our growth and inflation outlook. As emphasized previously, the implied path remains a broad policy guide which can and does change in either direction between meetings in response to new developments and changing risks.